Hello friends, welcome to the course of Code Igniter for Trustful API Development using Silt Authentication. Inside this video, we'll discuss about what is filter and how to use it inside application. If I back to editor, inside the last video, we have seen and discussed all about routes namespace. Now this time, we'll discuss another basic concept of Code Igniter and that is what is filter and how to use it inside application. So first thing first, what is filter? So inside Code Igniter our application, filter is just like a barrier. By the help of that, we can filter our HTTP request. For example, let's say that inside our application, we have 10 different different routes and from those 10 routes, let's say that 5, five routes are protected and 5 routes are open to use from any end users. So if any user access the protected routes without login, so in those cases, we'll implement the concept of filter so that protected routes will be allowed for logged in users only. Let's go back to slide, open a new tab. Let's say that inside our application, we have route number one and this is something, let's say route one. Next, we have one more route that is route number two. This is also something route number 2 and here let's say route number 3 and it will be like route number 3. So in these three routes, let's say that route 2 is protected. It means that only, only logged in users can access this URL. But these two URLs like route 1, this is open to use for everyone and it is also open to use everyone. So while accessing route 1 and route 3, it means we don't need any concept of filter but while accessing this route number 2, we want to implement the concept of filter so that we can filter our HTTP request from invalid login. So this is the overall concept of what we will discuss inside this video. Let's get back to editor. So inside Code Igniter for application, we can create filters by using Spark CLI. So once we create any filter, automatically it will go and store inside core app and filters folder. So right now here we don't have any filters. So once we create inside those filter classes, we'll have two methods that is after and before. We'll implement all our code logic inside before method. But once we create any filters, it will be not useful once we register inside this config folder. So whenever we create any filter for this application, before using that filter, we need to register that filter inside that file and that file will be filters.php. So inside filters.php, we need to register our custom filter what we'll create. So let's create our first filter file for this application. Go to terminal. Let's close this development server. So if I type php spark, now we can see this is all about the command list here inside generator section we can see here we have a command called make filter look at intellisense or single line description generates a new filter file so what i will do let's use this command php spark make filter and here we want to create a auth filter so that it is going to validate our HTTP request. So I will make it as auth and I will add suffix here as a flag which means that it will create a file called authfilter.php. Press enter. Now as you can see that authfilter.php file has been created inside filters folder. Go to editor. Go here inside app filters and here as you can see that our auth filter class now created. Inside this class we have two methods called before and after. So while opening any of the route we want to implement our authentication logic before accessing these routes so we will add our code inside this before method. So first thing first let's go and create some routes. Go inside controller sites.php so here I will create three different methods. Let's say public function, method number one, 
it's equal h1 tag and inside this h1 tag let's say route1 method1 now i will copy this method two more times and this is method number two method number three method number two so it will be something route two method two and this will be route three and method three so remember inside these routes we are going to create method two as a protected it means this will be accessed protected method with protected route so this method will be accessed only in case that user will be logged in now go inside config let's open routes.php file and inside this routes.php let's create our routes here so routes i will use get method and let's say route1 it will call sites controller and from sites controller it will call method number one I will copy paste two more times this is route number two route number three so route number two will call method number two and method number three remember we to add our logic inside this route two so that this will be a protected route save all these changes if I back to terminal let's start development server so php spark sir press enter started go back to browser go and reload now if i will open let's say route number one we can see that we are able to access let's duplicate route number two we can access let's duplicate and this is route number three so currently there is no logic we have added all about filters inside our route configuration so that's why all routes are open but now i will add some logic here inside this sites not inside sites.php inside our filter called auth filter so that this route number two will be protected now here we want to create a logged in system so that we can detect that a user is logged in or not so what i will do go back to sites.php let's create two methods here that is for login it means that this method is going to log in a user and another method we will create which is going to log logs out the user so here let's say public function and here let's say login and inside this method i will use a session helper function this is an object and i will use session helper function and by the help of this object we'll call a method called set so here it's a session and inside this set method the first value we need to pass a key so that we can detect that by the help of that key user is logged in or not basically it's a flag which indicates that what we have the value after login so let's say that here we have a flag called is logged in and inside this case we are setting a value when it means whenever we hit this login method automatically and here we have some error i will just copy and paste so this method is going to create a session and by the help of this session we are setting a flag which means that user is logged in now we have another method here that will be for logout so public function let's say logout and here inside this method again i will create a session object so session will use session helper function and by the help of this object we will call remove method and by the help of this remove method look at intellisense it is asking for a key and this is the key called is logged in so whenever we hit this logout method it will go and remove this is logged in key now let's create two more routes inside this routes.php so here this will be for login user and here let's say routes i will use get request type let's say login and it will call sites controller and from sites controller this is the login method and logout user let's say routes get method and here it will be logout 
it will use sites controller and logout method. Save all these changes and here let's what I will do here go to auth filter inside this auth filter here inside this before method let's say if I will use session helper function and also use get method and by using get method look at IntelliSense it is asking for a key so by using get we will fetch this is logged in value and if it returns 1 it means user is logged in and if it returns no value it means user is logged out because when we hit our logout URL it will go and call logout method and by using logout method we are removing our session value. So if session is empty it means user is logged out, user is not logged in. So in that case what this filter will do? This filter will return redirect to base URL and it will go to a page called access denied. So this is the route we need to create inside our routes.php. So what I will do, I will copy this here, go to routes.php. Let's say access denied page. Routes. Get method. Access denied. It will call sites controller and let's say access denied page. So I will copy this method name, go to sites controller here, let's say no access page, public function access denied and here let's echo within h1 tag you are not allowed to access this page. Save all these changes. Now we have all the concept inside this auth filter. We are checking our request that if session is active, it means if user is logged in and if it is not logged in, by using this operator, we are checking if session is not active. So in that case, we are redirecting user to access denied page. Now in the next step, before using this auth filter, we need to register go inside config folder inside config folder here we have a file called filters.php so i will import this filter here so let's say use auth filter this is the filter what we had created go inside aliases so that we can create a name by the help of that name we'll actually call that name inside routes.php so here let's say my auth this is any of the name you can put here and let's auth filter and it's a class so successfully now we have registered our auth filter inside this filters.php go here inside this routes.php now before adding our custom filter inside this route number two before go here let's reload one more time all these routes it is working means open to use for everyone open to use for everyone and open to use for everyone so currently all these three routes are open. Now we are going to implement the concept of filter what we have created for route number 2. So go to routes.php. Now here I will add third value inside this get method and look at IntelliSense it is saying all we need to pass options here. So I need to pass an array and here inside this array let's say filter and inside this filter my auth is the alias what we have registered inside filters.php. So once we open this route number two, this filter automatically gets triggered called my auth, and my auth is related with auth filter. And from auth filter, before method will be called, and if session is not active, then it will redirect automatic the URL to access denied page. Save all these changes go here let's reload one more time this route number one okay route number three it is also okay but when we hit this route number two as you can see that it has redirected into access denied page so to access this route number two we need to call login method this login method and by using this login method actually we need to set a key called is logged in which returns a value one so if 
this is logged in contains a value one so in that case this if block will not get executed and it will not redirect so if i go here let's copy this url open into a new tab and here if i type login plus enter so user is currently logged in it means session is active now if you go here again if i open let's say route number two plus enter now we can see that we are able to access route 2 and method 2 but once user will be log out let's say log out press enter user is logged out our session value now removed again if i go and reload now we can see that access denied page so successfully by the help of this video now we understood the overall concept of filters and how to configure and use inside application so filters are just like a barrier which we can use to filter or validate our http request inside application so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day